Hello YouTube, it's your boy Vintage Sterling Finds back for another exciting watch by video. Today we have pens too and a lighter. So sit back, relax, and let's get into the video. If you like the video, everything you see here is for sale on my Etsy, link in the description. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. We're trying to hit a million subscribers. Without further ado, here's the first item I picked up yesterday. This is a 70s Miramar Quartz Swiss watch, $8.99. I got a discount, so I think it was like six something. If you send certain thrift stores your email, you get discount codes. Beautiful little watch, Cartier style. That's gonna be a good one. Now, next up, this was with the pens. It is a Rowena West Germany lighter, quite big. Has a little bit of fluid in it. Just did it earlier. Little bugger. It did have fluid. There we go. Works. So this and the pens I'm going to show you, I paid 20 for all. Now, first half of the pens, I got some refills like a Zebra, Office Depot, Foray, Fitz Parker. Um, these aren't worth a hell of a lot. Probably just add them with the pens. Now, let's look at the pens. Now, I'm not an expert. Most of these work. I'll just show you some of the brands quick. Stanford, Japan. This is a mechanical pencil. This is a Schaefer. I like, the, oh, sorry, like that. I like these Schaefers. These are nice and have a little bit of a value. This is another Schaefer. I think these are just beautiful, these older Schaefers. And this is, is this a Schaefer? Yeah, another Schaefer. They, all the Schaefer's work. Um, next up, we have this. This is a Parker. Don't know where it's, I think, uh, Parker. Maybe USA? I think whoever owned these put tape here for grip. But I'll put these on my Etsy, you know, ask a little bit of money. The Zebras aren't worth that much. Like, here's a zebra, here's a zebra, here's a zebra, another zebra. I'll probably just sell these as a lot, quite cheap. It's still not bad. Then this is a Parker. Nice pen. This is a Luxon think here's another Parker this one's a 45 oh no like that oh, oh there we go nice pen and this is a another Schaefer so I think 20 bucks for all that the lighter I'll make my money back I've never really sold pens so it's gonna be a little bit of a learning experience but, you know, when I see something for cheap, I buy it for fun. Now, the next watches, I paid 50 for all of them. But I bought it mainly for one watch. And this is the watch. G-Shock. 6900. Now, I changed the battery just because I um, wanted to make sure it worked. A couple scratches, but... I'll give you guys a heads up. I have something big planned for this watch. It, I'll give you guys a hint. It involves customization. So we're going to customize this watch. So basically, we're going to take off the cover and customize it. And strap. That's a hint. And for all the watches, I paid 50 Next up, we have a Swiss Army. 
Now, I didn't know if this was real or not because it's plastic. But I looked on eBay. It is real. I opened the back, changed the battery. It is legit. I just wasn't sure. I just wanted to make sure before I showed it on my video. I knew what I was talking about. No strap, but it runs great. Next up, all these come in bags. This is an older Timex. Yes, he needs a new strap. The strap's falling apart. I haven't tested that yet. Next up, we have another bag. We have a baby G-Shock. I quite like these. This one's in very good shape. So I'll probably clean it with a toothbrush and um, definitely list it. White's a little bit rare. Most of the time they're black, I find. But that is a nice score. That alone is probably going to be a $50, $60, $70 dollar watch, depending on the model. Next up, we have this big bag. I don't know if any of these are good. No name watch. What's this? Another no name watch. But I mean the strap. For a cheaper watch, that's an acceptable strap. Nine West. Not in great shape. No name watch. Aldo. What's this? Jewel away. I mean, I think this one's just a little bit too beat. The condition's just not quite there on that, unfortunately. This is an Emil Martin. And again, I think this is just a little bit too beat. This is a Eddie Bauer. Um, I mean, the condition on this is fine. It's, I might get a little bit for that one. This is a Optics. Yeah, same thing. The condition is just not great. Another no-name watch. We have this one in a bag. I don't know what this is. This is a Dakota. This is a nice watch. Japan. I don't know who made it. Uh, do the light. This is a nice, heavy, well-made watch. A little bit vintage. This will move. I'll have to look it up. I have no idea on value, which is fairly rare for watches for me. Next bag. We have a... What is this? Liverpool. Yeah, this is a cheaper watch. This, I think this is like a G-Shock knockoff. Yeah, made in China. This band's quite cheap. Not a lot I can do with that. What's this? Now, the strap on this is fairly nice. So, if anything else, we have a nice strap. This is a Ultimate Hockey Challenge. Assembled in Canada, don't see that often. Probably I'll steal the strap on that guy. Last bag of watches. Now he told me there's nothing good in this one. What's this? Nicole, I can't even read that. It's tight. I can't. See, does it wind? It winds and it's running. Nicole, what is that? Paris? I don't know if that's a fashion watch. I think that, yeah, there we go. That pops open like that. See, does this? Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, that works. So, yeah, working Nicole Paris. I mean, that's going to be sellable for someone. How much, I don't know. 
Next up we have some sort of smart watch. Again, that's not a super valuable watch. I generally don't even really deal in smart watches. Next up we have a, is that a Calvin Klein? Ah, it's a GK, not a CK. But I'm, yeah, the strap's all rusted. Not much I can do there. Now what's this? Louise Ardan. I mean, that's kind of cool. Kind of big, kind of oversized. That's kind of cool. Somebody might give me a couple bucks for that. Now we have these three bangles. That one, that one, that one. I don't really deal in these bangles. So, um, that's the video. Um, thanks for watching. I uh, love doing the videos and we'll have some more out soon. Thank you. See you on the next one.